Welcome to Carroll County Schools teachers. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Google Docs and some of the new features inside of Google Docs. First thing, uh, I do recommend creating documents inside of Google Docs, especially if you're planning on collaborating with other teachers or sharing your documents with your administration, that kind of stuff. It's a lot easier than, than uh, you know, attaching a Word document and having them download it, change it, and then re-upload it and send it to you again. Everything's just done um, in real time. So I really like Google Docs for the collaboration feature. To create a document inside Google Docs, we click on the new button. This is the new version uh, of Google, Do uh, Google Drive. So if you click on settings and you have the leave the new drive, that means you're in it. If you have visit the new drive, then that means you're in the old version. I suggest checking out the new version. Things seem to work a little, a little better in here. So I'm gonna click on new. Go down to Google Docs, and so it brings up a, a brand new document, untitled document. So we're going to change that here, change the name of it. So it's to rename. You just click on the document name. I want to look at the toolbar a little bit. Uh, mostly very similar to Microsoft Word. One of the big differences, though, that I it took me a while to find was the line spacing. So in Word, you'd have to right click and go to the paragraph to find double space. You can't find that here when you right click. You have to go to this line spacing button and click double space. So that's one of the things that I found was different in, inside of Google Docs. We're going to look at tables a little bit. Insert a table. It's as easy as you know choosing how many columns you need, how many rows you need, and clicking insert. So pretty simple on that end. I did want to look at um, downloading the document if you if you need it to be on your computer so if this is something you create in Google Drive Google Docs and you really need access to it offline you can download it so when I come to download as and file you get multiple options the, the ones I would recommend Microsoft Word or PDF usually one of those two is going to be what you need but we'll go ahead and click Microsoft Word here it is downloads it in the computer when I click on it, it's going to open it up right here inside of Microsoft Word, and it looks the exact same. So most of the time, you're going to see you're going to see conversions be exactly the same, but you always want to go back and check and make sure that it is the same. Nothing uh, changed after you downloaded it. Inserting images, we're going to look at some of the inserting features now. Uh, one of the things you can do inside of Google Docs is insert an image. It brings up this page. You have several different options. You can choose an image from your computer, which is what we're going to do right here. So I'm going to choose an image, click on my pictures, and we'll go ahead and put that um, DHS crest right there inside of our inside of our document. <clears throat> Pretty simple to do. You got your different options just like you do in Word. Another way to insert an image is just by going to Google and searching. You find an image you like, I'm going to insert this puppy dog, I'm going to click and drag it, highlight my document, and drop it right beside Bowden Crest, and there we have it. We are, uh, it's really simple to insert images in Google Docs. Another thing is link. What if you wanted to link? So I want to link the Bowden High School website, pull up that Bowden High School website, and copy the URL go back into my document, highlight the, the name, the, the text that I want to be linked, go to insert again, link, paste it in, and so now we have a text that is linked to a website. Click on that and it brings up our Bowden High School website. So that's pretty simple. Another thing, you know, just Look at the, look at some of the stuff you can insert in here because uh, you know there are drawings you can insert. So if you have thinking maps that kind of stuff, you can create them inside of Google Draw and insert it right here. You also have equations you can insert. So for those constructive response questions on tests, you can start you know typing them right into Google Google Docs. Uh, a lot of different things you can do in here. Another feature that's not used very often in Google Docs, but I think can be beneficial, especially for students, is the research feature. So if you click on Tools, here you have Research. Go ahead and click that, and it opens up a little pop-up window over here, and you can search for whatever you're doing research for. So this is you know good for 
for quick research projects. Here we go, we're searching Abraham Lincoln. Um, you can see that it shows Wikipedia pages, different pages, but if you find something like whitehouse.gov, you can click on this. First, you can preview it. So we're going to click preview, and it brings up a little page that you can see. You can also click on the link, and it opens the link up for you. Once you look through the page, if you find some information you like, you can always come back here and uh, cite it directly into the um, the page. So if we click on cite, it puts our, our little uh, citation right there in the, in the page. Uh, I like, personally, I do like the easy bib add-on. We'll look at that in just a few minutes rather than this. But um, you can come up here and you can, we, we don't have to search Google, we can just search images of Abraham Lincoln. Find an image we like, bring them right in here, pop them into our document. We can also search quotes. So there are a lot of different features here in um, inside of the Google Docs research feature that I do like. And sticking with the research theme, we're going to look at one of uh, the add-ons and one of my particularly favorite add-ons available in the store. So inside of Google Docs now, since you know the last few months, we've gotten this new add-ons button feature. If you come down here to get add-ons, it brings up a new window with all the different um, applications you can add on to your Google Docs. One thing about Google Docs compared to Word, it doesn't have near as many features, but they do allow third parties to come in and, and add and kind of make their product better. So like Thesaurus is one of those that I think everyone you know an add-on I think everyone should have in Google Docs. We're going to look for Easy Bib. So right here is Easy Bib Bibliography Creator. How do you add one to your documents? Highlight it, click on fr the plus free button. And yes, we're accepted. Google knows everything about us already anyway. So we'll click accept and now we should be able to find that in our add-ons. We click on add-on, Easy Bib Bibliography Creator and we'll manage our bibliography. Another pop-up window will come open and you've got a couple different ways to cite your sources. Right here's the, you can put in the title of a, a book, ISBN, I mean you can just paste the ISBN number directly in, journal articles or websites. So let's say we wanted to do that, here's that whitehouse.gov website. Let's copy that one, go back into our uh, Google Doc right here and we got website highlighted we'll paste that in search it and it's gonna um, here it is Abraham Lincoln the White House click select now we can choose what style do we want it do we want an MLA APA or Chicago it's pretty nice uh, pretty nice feature in Google Docs I think you know all students and and teachers should should have access to this so click add bibliography to the document pops in our references right there at the bottom. So I really feel like this is one of those White House, to, yeah, here it is. This is one of those things that very, very beneficial. All of these add-ons, definitely search through these, you know, for your personal Google Docs as well as your students. Have them search through those add-ons and find some things that would help them become more productive. One of the new features in Google Docs is the uh, Google Docs homepage. So, if you're ever in a document and you click on this and it, take, it doesn't take you back to Drive anymore, now it takes you to this Google Docs homepage. You know, it doesn't look the same, but you can find your documents just the same. You can always go back to Drive, but so if we click on this, these three lines over here, you know, I can go back to my Drive if I'd like. Um, but you can also click on this little folder button. It's called File Picker. So this brings you back to, you know, the same view you would see in Google Drive. Um, you can also create documents from right here as well. So it's just, a, you know, kind of a, one of those new features Google's trying. I, I, I'm not sure uh, the huge benefit to this Docs page. I usually do most of my work in Drive. And the final thing I want to look at today is the sharing and collaboration feature inside of Google Docs. And that's what really I think the power of Google Docs and, and how it makes it a better application than some of the others we've talked about today. So to share out the document, remember everything you create in Google Docs automatically defaults to private unless you're you know creating it inside of a shared folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click share and put in um, Courtney's name. She's 
volunteer to help us today. I'm going to make sure she can edit, but there are some different options here. can comment or can view. Um, you can also look at the advanced settings. So I can make this document. I can change it from being private. I can make it where everyone in Carroll County Schools can see it. Anyone with the link can view it, or I can just make it public on the web. Uh, today we're just going to leave it with specific people. So here's Courtney Rogers. I'm going to add in a message. All right, so we'll make sure she can edit. Here's my message, and I'm going to send it to her. Now it's going to send it um, an email invitation to Courtney to edit. I've asked her if she, to help us out today, so she's going to jump in as soon as that email goes through. And there she is. Awesome. All right, so she's in there. So she's going to jump down, and as she's typing, I'm going to go ahead and type as well. So when you talk about the power of Google Docs, I really think this is this is where you can kind of make the most hay. This is uh, the the most powerful feature to me, that collaboration piece, piece that uh, you don't always see in some of the other things. So no downloading, changing it, uploading it, and sharing it back. This is all done in real time at the same time. So... Um, that's about it for the Google Docs. I want to once again thank Courtney Rogers for helping us out with this. Uh, and she's really taking it seriously, so she's continuing on there. Great job, Courtney. Thanks, Courtney. That's good. Um, but thank you for uh, for viewing this. Remember, you can always email me at joshua.bingham at com if you have any more questions. Thanks. Uh, one more thing. Um, almost, almost forgot. I didn't want to get out of here before. Uh, showing you this, I know you thought it was over, but just a minute longer. Uh, there is one more feature that they've just come out with. Um, I really like. So, if you can, you want to highlight something, I can go and change the mode I'm in right now. I'm in editing mode. If I want to be in suggesting mode, I can click on that and say instead of coordinator, didn't you mean director? Okay, and so that actually can show Courtney now. Hey, this is just a um, a suggestion of what you could do with your with your work I think this is really good especially for like peer editing or teacher editing when you're you're sending feedback to students so definitely look at that and um, it pops up over here you can always go through and and uh, put a comment in as well so if I highlight response to intervention click comment uh, right here is a, a comment I can go ahead and insert a comment right here so this is uh, an important feature as well. I didn't want to leave those things out right there. So now when Courtney comes back, she can click on that highlighted portion and the comment that I that I put in here pops up for her. So I really think those are two features I wanted you to hear about before you left. I know I'm done now. I promise it's over. Feel free to email me if you need anything. Thanks.